So in this video, I'd like to describe one specific technique that we call cross-view detection. And uh, this is a technique for finding rootkits on a system. And, and this particular approach is actually uniquely geared towards rootkits. And it basically involves um, looking at the same aspect of a system, but from two different vantage points to see if there are inconsistencies. And if there are inconsistencies, then that's an indication that a rootkit may be interfering with the execution path. And, and what, what might help, maybe let me give a physical analogy. Uh, it's kind of like trying to uh, investigate a crime by interviewing multiple witnesses. And the idea is that if, if their statements happen to corroborate, uh, then everything is fine. But if their statements disagree, then you know somebody out there must be lying. Okay, so it's a similar concept in that regard. And let me kind of talk about how you might do uh, cross-view detection. So, so one way you can do it is you can um, let's label our, let's call our cross-view detector. Let's come up with a, a name for it. So let's see our cross-view detector. And imagine our cross-view detector is going to figure out uh, whether there's a rootkit on the system. It's going to do two things. First, it's going to call using the Windows, the Win32 API. So let's say it's actually going to call using operating system helper functions, the Win32 API, uh, it's going to find out whether or not a particular file is on the file system. So maybe it'll, it'll call the Win32 API to actually examine the contents of the file system. Okay, now let's say in this case, uh, let's say there happens to be a rootkit on the file system. And so imagine here's your, let's say this is the file system right here. And uh, there's a rootkit that, that's residing uh, somewhere on the file system. And uh, Maybe the, the rootkit is is, uh, is actively running, and what the rootkit's going to do is it's going to give back a it's going to intercept all these calls. It's going to use techniques like IAT hooking or, or uh, detours, etc., and it's going to give back a, a bad answer, some kind of a, a modified answer about the contents of the files in the system. Now, our cross view detector is also going to directly query the system. It's going to basically directly, without using the Windows API, going to ask about the contents of the file system. And it's going to get back a response, and it's, this is by writing direct code. And already you can you can see that the response here is different from the response here, and that means that there must be a rootkit on the system, and, and you can immediately uh, identify that by the fact that there was a discrepancy in the responses uh, when you when you asked about uh, the same file, the same set of files, but using two different paths. Same approach works uh, for registry entries. So you can you can use the same approach uh, for registry. In other words, in this case, you could you could examine the contents of the registry in, in two different fashions. And, and the first fashion might be uh, you can use things like uh, there are Windows API calls. For example, there's a reg uh, open uh, key x. Uh, another another API call is the uh, the reg uh, query value x call. Okay, and these would use the these would use the Windows operating system to tell you information about the registry, and then what you can do that that would kind of correspond to the to this top branch right here where you would use Windows to help you figure out the answer, and then to deal with the bottom branch, what you can basically do is you can directly parse any files that are associated with registry hives and and uh, and identify the contents of the registry directly, and if you're able to do that, you can determine if uh, if in this branch if if you have a different answer here compared to if you took this branch. And if, if the answers are different, again, that's a sign that a rootkit is likely interfering with the execution path and wreaking havoc. Now, I, I do also want to mention that this general concept of cross-view detection, it can be applied in other ways as well. For example, you can use uh, cross-view detection to, to look for lists of running processes. So you can, you can uh, same concept, and not the exact same approach, but the same concept uh, you can apply towards uh, running processes. So if you can find two different ways to look for lists of running processes, and, and maybe one might actually involve the traversing the kernel data structures, um, and and in particular the e-process blocks in in the uh, in the kernel, and, and you can you can look at the list that way. There are also other ways in which you can look at lists of running processes that, that are a bit more subtle. And again, if those lists don't agree, then that's again a sign that that a rootkit is is on the system and is. Uh, is causing the results to differ from each other. I also do want to point out, and I think this is this is worth noting in, in closing, that uh, cross-view detection is not without its own set of challenges. I mean, the reality is that operating system vendors provide APIs for a reason. That's because it's really hard to write low-level code that interfaces with the hardware directly. And, and, and uh, 
you know, if, if you're doing that, you're basically kind of reinventing a very difficult wheel uh, that, that was very difficult to invent in the, in the first place. And so, you know, if you are trying to do this yourself, or if you are trying to look at uh, the hardware directly or, or trying to interface with the hardware without necessarily appealing to the API that Windows provides, you have to be really careful. And, and what often happens is people might implement cross-view detectors, but it turns out that they still end up appealing to enough high-level functionality that, that their cross-view detector is not going to, to work out that well. Anyway, I hope you found this useful, and I will I'll let you do some more videos on rootkit defense. This is just one technique out of a, a, a fairly big arsenal of techniques that you, you can apply uh, towards a problem of actually being able to detect rootkits.